Hello, I've made a rig in Blender 2.5, which is just the um, the pre-beta version of the next release of, of Blender, but it's already a really great program, and there's uh, a lot of good functionality in there already, uh, particularly uh, the animation tools uh, are fantastic. So I've used some of them to make uh, a rig here. This is it. Uh, I'll just go through some of the controls. This is uh, the inverse kinematic controls here. Um, it's the foot. You can use it to place the foot. Standard. Um, uh, this is quite cool. This is a foot roll control. You pull up to rotate the foot up around the ball of the foot and pull down to rotate the foot back around the heel of the foot. This is really useful for walk cycles. Uh, We've also got a tumble control here. You can pull side to side and it tumbles in around the around a pivot on the inside and tumbles out around a different pivot on the outside. That could be useful. Uh, this has a rotation around the tip of the toe so you can uh, place your foot wherever you want and just have it rotate up around the toe. Uh, or you can um, you can use it like this as well to, to, to rotate around in this direction, around, around the in that direction. Um, something fun you can do with this rig is to grab a control and then go to the controls for the layers and just choose. These are the scene layers here. Just choose um, the layer that has the mesh on it. So, but I've still got that control selected. So now I can see exactly what the uh, control does to the mesh. And exactly how it deforms it, which is useful. So there's that. Um, then you've got knee control. If I can select it, it makes the knee point in the right direction wherever you want it to point. Um, uh, then the hand, the arm, inverse kinematic controls. Pretty, pretty similar. Um, uh, with the hands, you've got a finger curl control, which is just up and down to make it the hand come into a fist, and then you can grab hold of the thumb and then rotate that in like that. And then, if you wanted to see what that looked like just on the mesh without the controls in the way, just click on, <coughs> on that layer again. That looks good. Um, let's have a look at this. Yeah. Um, this is the hip. Uh, the spine's independent from the hip. Uh, it's got fairly straightforward three bone spine here. Uh, I've I've seen and I've done more complicated spines spine rigs in the past, but. I'm not really sure that they're worth the effort. Um, anyway, this one's this one's pretty decent. It just does. You know, it's easy to control. Uh, neck, shoulders. Just gra grab or rotate these. You can do either. Do some weird dance. You should grab uh, control that you can rotate and press R once, then you rotate around the view vector, which is useful if you're looking straight on and you want to rotate like that. That's quite useful. But if you want to rotate like sideways from this, then you press R twice and you get trackball rotation, and you can make him. He's <laughs> getting into a really weird position. Never mind. Um, glasses there. There's the eyeball here. Again, press R twice to get trackball rotation. You can make him look around or if you like. Just the one eyeball, so that's a pretty basic control. This is just a working progress rig, so... Um, well, uh, I could probably improve that <laughs> at some point. Um, in general, the facial controls are the less advanced ones at the moment. So... Uh, there's only really the head, the eye control, and then the jaw here, which again it's useful 
to use the trackball rotation by pressing R twice. And you can get that that kind of motion. He's only really got you know open closed and kind of looks kind of daft or shocked or something. I don't know. Um, elbow control. Oops, wrong button. Elbow control. Uh, now I'll go through the. <laughs> I'll go. Th it looks really funny. I'll go through the uh, IKFK switching controls and where you find all the the controls because you've got these are the all the IK controls are visible here. There were all, all the IK controls are yellow and the board kinematic. IK is inverse kinematics. Um, just so you know, in case you didn't already. Uh, all the IK controls are yellow or gold, and the forward kinematic forward kinematics controls are purple. Uh, you've also got forward kinematic controls for the uh, arms and legs as well, but they're on different layers, so you only you only ever need one at the same at the time. But so anyway, you find them here. Uh, you've got basically the layers set up in the armature. So you've got the scene layers down here, and you've got armature layers up here on the armature panel. Uh, then. Uh, the IK legs on uh, the first layer. Basically, you've got legs, legs on the first two layers, and then arms, arms on the second two layers, and it goes IK, FK, IK, FK. So you've got legs IK, legs FK, and there you can see the purple F, uh, forward kinematic FK leg controls there. So you can see you they behave differently to the Inverse kinematic controls, um, and then you blend between them. You see, currently the mesh is being uh, skinned to. Well, it's being con you know it's constrained to uh, the inverse kinematic leg. So you grab if you want it to be FK, then you grab this IK FK control for the, each each limb has its own control. So you've got IK FK for the left leg here, and we'll change it to be. Uh, you can see the leg moving up towards the FK control. Uh, and that's that. So basically, you can see in the middle here you've got the uh, deforming geometry, and on either side you've got the inverse kinematic control hierarchy and the forward kinematic control hierarchy. So, put it onto the forward kinematics now. It's doing some kind of a high kick. Um, yeah, and then the same for the arms. So, we'll make the arms inverse kinematic control visible and the um, forward kinematic control visible. Now you want to switch to the forward kinematics for the left arm, so we grab the IKFK switcher and grab it and then with G and then push it up to forward kinematics. Then we can grab hold of this arm and uh, we could make him wave or whatever. I don't know what he's doing. He's freaking out. That's what he's doing. So, and the FK arms have got their own uh, hand grab control as well. And for the thumb as well. And you can rotate this. And you've got nice um using B bones to make the rotation smooth up the up the arm so you can see that twisting nicely. I don't know if that's clear. Well <laughs> pretty good. I'm losing some volume there, but uh, it's pretty good overall. Probably the mesh needs a bit more geometry in it, but anyway. So uh, you'll be able you'll be able to get uh, this file off the um, uh, Blend Artist forum. I'll put a link in the information beside this video, and uh, you can get builds of Blender 2.5 from a site called Graphical.com. I'll also put a link for that in the corner beside the video. So join in with the Blender 2.5 development. F use it, find bugs, and then they'll get squished, and everything will get better even better because it's already pretty good this text here is just um, some information about how to use the rig more or less the same as I've gone over in this video just in case you need a refresher so thanks for watching I uh, hope you like the rig and happy blendering see you later